your girl Lay here. Thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. And where we're healing from the inside out, it is a vegan thing over here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And leave me a comment of something that you would, would like to see me make, like vegan style. Um, one of your all-time favorite dishes. And like, let's see if Chef Nate can make this vegan. So challenge me, please. So today, I'm going to be using my Hamilton uh, Beach little hand blender here my mom gave me. Uh, a couple months ago, she gave me this thing. And... Um, I'm going to be making a base, a base sauce for like vegan ice cream, for vegan smoothies or shakes, or even um, vegan overnight oats. So it's just a base for it. And I'm going to uh, use almond silk. It's, um, normally I use nut milk that has cashews and um, almonds together, but this is what I had to get. So I have this, and if I don't have this on hand, I would use a plant-based milk, and I would just put this in there, two scoops, and this is just raw cacao powder. There's nothing else that I'm adding in here. It's just raw cacao powder. And um, there's a glare on there for my light. Um, so, And I'm going to be using smooth peanut butter, not the crunchy style. You can put the crunchy style in there if you would like. But I'm using the smooth today. Um, I'm going to use two spoons of this, two tablespoons of this, two heaping tablespoons of this. In each batch, I use two tablespoons of this. I use about hmm, a half a cup to a cup of milk. Um, I will put, if I use this, I will put one or two of these in here, depending on how chocolate you like it. And I will put one to two bananas, normally just one banana. Um, you could put an avocado in there with it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And also I add chia seeds. I love chia seeds. This just make it like like a pudding texture it's so good so I will use these ingredients and I would like um, you can freeze it and make ice cream out of it or you could put it in a mixture with some um, oats in a jar and um, let me see I can show you one of the jars I use I will use like one of these mason jars and I will put like the base that I make for my cream sauce and with some a uh, half a cup of oats and mix it together and put the lid on it oh my god it may add a little bit more milk um, in there some dairy uh, free milk and put this thing in the refrigerator for overnight and wake up and it is the bomb. Just dig in with your spoon. You don't have to heat it up. You eat it just as it is. Also, you can also take the sauce and you can just leave it as is and put an avocado in there and, and, and leave it in the refrigerator with a lid on it without the oats. And you can make a vegan pudding. Chocolate pudding is so good. Or you can make a vanilla, add a vanilla, um, splash of vanilla and just leave it. Use the white almond. It is so good. So let's get started. First, in my blender here, my little Hamilton Beach, <laughs> I'm going to use one banana. So I take the banana here, and I just remove the skin of the banana. My children love these shakes. And put a banana in here, just kind of break it off with your fingers and throw it on in there. And again, this is vegan. There's no um, animal products in here. This is just all plant-based, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hands. Got it. So I'm going to add the milk here. I kind of eyeball it. Um, again, you can use as much as you like, uh, preferably a half a cup to a whole cup. And just go ahead and uh, I all by mine, so I just pour it in there. Just to get, depending on how thick you like it. If you like it thicker, you just put a little bit of milk, like a half a cup. And if you like it thinner, you go ahead and put like a whole cup. So I like mine kind of thick. I like it like a pudding. I'm going to put my chia seeds in here. I love chia seeds. I kind of eyeball this too. You can put like two, uh, one tablespoon or two. I just go ahead and pour it in there because I just love chia seeds. They're so good. So thank you guys for taking this journey with me. This is a journey for healing, healing from the inside out. Again, I take one tablespoon, bloop, drop it in there. Another heaping tablespoon, bloop, and drop it in there. And there you have it. I'm going to blend this up. And let's see. You guys are going to love this. Again, leave a, a, a comment. 
Oh, to make it extra sweet, I put a little honey in there, so let me get my honey. And again, just a squeeze. Since we're healing, you can add turmeric in here, like a little dash of turmeric. You can put herbs in here. And it, it just coriander. Oh my goodness. Coriander got like this smell like fruity pebbles, kind of. So I got that. And there you have it. Let's make sure everything is in there. The peanut butter is off the walls of it. And let's give it a taste. Mmm. You guys, this is so good. This is so good. You're going to love it. You can add other fruit besides bananas. You can do like cherries. You can do raspberries. You can put strawberries in there, raspberries with it, and blend it. And whoop, there you go. So I have these little jars I got from Walmart. Fruit came in here, and I just kept the jars. And... There you have it. So, thank you. Hope to see you guys again soon. Don't forget, leave in the comment section what you would like me to make next. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>